Getting dropped off at the beach in previous seasons, I mean, that can be a panic-inducing moment. With this setup, where one person is hiking to find the other and you're separated. You just doubled it all. It makes that seem better. Yeah. When it's a bad thing in the first place. Which just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. First thing we're bringing is a pot. This just happens to be the coffee pot from our home. It's a really heavy-duty aluminum two-quart coffee pot. What we really wanted was something with a spout. So that's our first item. We also brought an ax. This is uh, the oldest ax I probably have ever owned. It's got a great profile, good fit. It's a definite antique, but it's full size. This is meant to do work, not crafting. And that was our thought behind that. Next thing we decided to bring was a pan. Our thinking behind a pot and a pan is to keep liquids separate from food. You can always keep those two things separately. We also decided to bring a bow saw. This is an old saw, but it's a good sturdy saw. It's not cheap. Very simple. All right, the next item we brought is sure to set the internet on fire. So here we go. It's a bar of soap. You spend a lot of time dirty, wet, covered in fish guts, and get yourself cleaned up. It's like going back to day one. The mental boost it gives you is so incredible. We felt this was worth bringing strictly for mental health. So here's our bar soap. Our next item we decided on was line and hooks. If you don't have line and hooks, I don't understand your thought behind it. Line and hooks was one of our first choice for items. So for our next item, we chose ration. We think it's really important to have just a little bit of source of food out there. So two pounds of rations for both of us. Our last item, we each decided to bring a white tarp. And you'll also notice that we chose white. There's enough green around here. There's enough brown around here. Everything is dark and drab. Well, that's it. Hope we picked the right items. Hope so.